What's up, everybody? Welcome back to 30 to Life. It's your boy, Uso Ron. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about my recent trip to Kona, Hawaii. It was an interesting trip. And I wanted to discuss some things with you guys. And maybe some of the locals that live there on that island can help me out and help me understand a few things. But before we move on, I want to shout out one of the guys, one of the locals there that was in Costco one evening when I was walking through. I happened to be over there shopping, trying to get some things for the Airbnb. And this guy, he was like, hey, you the guy on YouTube. <laughs> so we stopped and, um, you know, we chopped it up for a minute. I wish we I, we would have got like a photo or something together, man. But um, I believe your name was Sean. I apologize if I'm fucking it up. But I believe your name was Sean. It was good meeting you, brother. Get at me and maybe I can get you a t-shirt or something or whatever. You know what I mean? I just appreciate the hospitality and it was really good to meet you. So my stay in Kona, Hawaii, uh, I ended up staying in Kailua at an Airbnb with my family. Um, we were just visiting for a few days out there, uh, just kind of getting away from Cali. I had to get a little mental break. You know how it goes, y'all. Yeah. So we took a trip out there. We stayed over there in Kailua. And uh, one of the first things I noticed is, you know, and I know it's because I was in the tourist area, but I noticed that a lot of the tourists there, they was just really like, I don't know, weird how they just stared at me and my family. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because, you know, we look local and, you know, but it was a mixture of locals there, you know, locals and tourists in this area. But, you know, my family, they got the long, curly black hair and everything. I don't know if that's the reason, whatever it may be. But um, it was kind of uncomfortable walking through Kailua. And so I remember we're going into the ABC store to get a couple things to take back. And one of the guys that worked there the managers or whatever he was like following me around just kind of staring and shit so me and my son went outside to just sit outside and uh, we were waiting for my wife and my daughters they were in there shopping but he came outside and he was like standing on the steps staring and shit and i don't know what it is man you know at the time i didn't know what it is but i think i kind of have an idea now but you know it just made me really uncomfortable and then when i went to this other place in the morning went to this place called Asai Hawaii and we, me and my wife went over there we went over there to pick up some of those Asai bowls and bring it back to the family so we can eat you know in the morning so the kids can have some breakfast whatever it may be you know grab the coffee and shit but I went over there and we ordered five Asai bowls and I fucking tipped the people there and I noticed that it was just like Howley's working the counter and everything but didn't think nothing of it but it was really rude. There was no aloha spirit. My family and I were, were real, like, respectful. And so, you know, everything we do, we always say, please, thank you. I know the world's not like that no more or whatever. But that's how I raise my kids. That's how we get down. And so, you know, when you're in Hawaii, you know, one of the things that you experience out there is that aloha spirit. And this place didn't have it. You know, they was really rude. Uh, the acai bowls were just like really garbage to me. They were watered down, you know, and I get it. You know, it's the tourist area. So they're going to try to make as much money as they can off a little of nothing, you know. But the cold part about it was that I guess it used to be a local spot, but now it's owned by some Howley dude and his little girlfriend. And, uh, you know, they just really it just the place is just garbage, in my opinion, in my opinion. And I felt really uncomfortable there. You know, when my wife said thank you, uh, the lady kind of just slid the shit out. And she just really, you know, no aloha spirit there. So that was pretty much the last straw. You know, I mean, me and my family were like, fuck this. We're going to, you know, go hang out where the locals are and get some local food. You know, maybe we feel more comfortable there, you know. So the next day or so, we, we decided to drive like two hours man it was like an hour and a half almost two hours across the island so we traveled to this one spot called um text driving and you know it's supposed to be like kind of like a local spot and but some tourists go there for the malasadas but uh we went over there and we ordered some food and i don't know you know what i mean i don't want to talk too bad about the food or nothing it's it's more about the service there though you know i don't know i just kind of felt like we were over there in the tourist area again because the hospitality from the locals there was like none you know there was no aloha spirit again you know we're respectful so uh but you know nobody cares about that shit. but that's cool you know we just was there to get some food and get our grind on 
and kind of enjoy some good food but uh you know the food kind of missed the mark for me i'm sure a lot of people enjoy the food but what really stuck out for me there was the way the staff act behind the window they were just rude and unfriendly and i i noticed that you know they just kind of had a disdain for us i don't know why i don't know you guys tell me what's going on man maybe it, you know Samoans ain't wanted there or maybe just tourists ain't wanted there and maybe i had the tourist vibe on me but either way i wasn't fitting in kailua and now i'm not fitting right here where you know the locals are and so you know just the little shit that's going on and and we we ended up buying a bunch of malasadas we bought way too much we over ordered and so the box was like hella big and it was like overflowing with malasadas we had it for the whole time we was there we ended up having to throw shit away and so i sent my daughter up to the front to go get a piece of tape for the box and you know they kind of just like ignored her the whole time she was standing there and then she she was like saying excuse me but the girl just walked away she didn't want to have nothing to do with my daughter and then finally you know when my daughter got her attention again uh she just asked her for a piece of tape so we can just kind of tape that uh box closed because it was like popping up and mind y'all now man we done spent like a hundred bucks here already and so the girl though she was like you know she doesn't really say nothing she just grabbed the tape and she slammed that shit on the counter hella hard and you know and walked away <laughs> you know what i mean it's just no aloha spirit man and it is what it is but i noticed that you know everywhere we went even at fucking starbucks we went over there to get some coffee man and i tried to i tried to get a a tray for the five drinks i ordered because you know what i'm saying i'm trying to i'm not trying to carry five drinks out the fucking shop and i asked the girl behind the counter if i can get you know a tray to put the drinks in please i said please and uh you know same thing man she just grabbed that shit and slammed that shit on the counter and like you know like and get the fuck out of here <laughs> so i don't know what the fuck's going on in 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 kona um with the locals uh but i can I, I can understand you know if y'all mad at the the tourists i get that because i ended up having to look up a lot of things um reviews on places because i was just like dumbfounded on how we was being treated and shit and i saw that you know a lot of these motherfucking tourists they talk shit about the locals you know they're they're talking about how they're at the beach and the only bad thing about being there was the locals hanging out and playing loud music and smoking weed um i don't know what the hell wrong with these tourists man i really don't you know like why come to the island and talk shit about the people there you know it's, it's that saying again you know what i mean they love they love our culture they love our food they love they love our island but they don't love the people they don't like the people you know and uh it's stupid and so i can understand you know why the locals have you know an attitude towards tourists but if you see me and my family besides that we, we might dress like we're from california so we do look like tourists but you could tell we islander you know what i mean you can tell and me you know i grew up a little bit in on oahu um if y'all didn't see that story yet i'll put it right here or, or up here y'all can check that out i was homeless on oahu for a couple years so i understand what it's like to be on the island i understand you know the respect that you're supposed to give i respect the island i respect the people so i'm always on on top of that but the respect that was coming back to me and my family it just wasn't there and whatever you know but i just didn't understand it and so maybe some of y'all that live on kona or maybe uh i hope i hope your name is sean <laughs> I hope I'm not calling you something else, but I believe you said your name was Sean. But get at me, man. I hope I hope you guys can help enlighten me and help me understand what's going on. So, you know, we just said, fuck it, man. Uh, we're going to just order in. And we, had, we ended up ordering pizza and shit like that for the next couple of nights and just kind of like, you know, not really visiting places. Um, but we, we enjoyed the beaches and stuff. We ended up going to a beach called Kua Bay and man i'm telling you man it's a beautiful beach right but again uh we hit the beach family and i were walking and it's mostly tourists there and man the stairs the unwelcoming stairs you know it's like they like they don't want to stare and man i'm telling you i'm like ready to fight these motherfuckers but anyways it was just very uncomfortable and i was like man anywhere we go 
it's like we're not welcome we're not welcome in the tourist area we're not welcome in the with the locals so it was just like it was it was kind of frustrating but i wasn't i refused to let it damper my time there you know what i mean because i'm here to you know clear my head i'm here to just you know get a little bit of relaxation from the hustle and bustle from california and all that shit so you know i'm i'm determined to have a good time so i'm trying to ignore the bullshit but yeah it was just uncomfortable there for my family and i so we ended up finding another beach uh the next day and that beach right there man that was the only beach we went to for the next few days during our stay out there uh it was a hapuna beach and man i love that beach man my kids were out there they was on their little boogie boards you know what i mean they never did none of that shit before you know what i mean my kids are from california but they look straight islander you know what i mean like they grew up on the islands you would think they're local kids but you know they're out there having fun on the waves and everything and my daughter she learned how to body surf a little bit so it was really cool it was a good experience out there while we were out hanging out there um and we we, we ended up getting to have a little conversation with uh the lifeguards there you know the local lifeguards there and uh it was cool man those guys were really cool man shout out to the lifeguards there on that beach um but uh one of the things that they said that stood out to us um you know and they told my wife hey you know when you guys get back tell them you didn't like it here you know tell them don't come that you don't like it here in uh kona and so you know we're like oh okay okay you know but we started realizing now that they don't want you know the locals there don't want tourists they don't want tourists there and which is completely understandable after the shit i was reading about the tourists and what they're saying about locals i mean if i grew up there i wouldn't want to see no damn tourists neither so i i really get that i do i, I really do um but anyhow i man we had a great time on that beach uh, we visited that beach a couple times and then uh, actually we did actually go to a couple other spots to eat um we went to broke the mouth grind and then the spot next to that nephew smokehouse and uh man both the spots are fire man broke the mouth grind oh man bro i went back on monday and they was closed i wanted some food from that place man before i went home but uh yeah they was closed on monday man man bro if y'all ever in kona man go see broke the mouth grinds man the food over there man fire and then right next to it is nephew's uh Nephi smokehouse man we went in there and uh we ordered some food but the main thing that stuck out at nephew's is the two older women that worked there at the counter man like man i just felt like like those are my favorite aunties you know they were really nice and really good you know to us and uh the hospitality was was good there um it was really cool the environment and and the vibe it felt really good and so i want to shout out um auntie them that worked there at uh Nephis. thank you for uh substituting our chicken yeah man good people right there so not all of it was bad over there in kona but there was a lot of uncomfortability in certain places yeah so i don't know i don't know what it is man it's a beautiful island uh i would love to visit kona again um but maybe you guys that are that live there maybe some of you locals that are watching and live on kona uh sean hopefully your name sean <laughs> uh maybe y'all can tell me what's going on you know is it is it the fact that i'm samoan um is it is it the fact that i look like a tourist um is it because my kids are are you know ha half they're mixed you know they're mixed howling and so but my kids you, you you wouldn't be able to tell man i'm telling y'all man so i don't know what it is though it's just it was the the aloha spirit uh no more um at least where i visited and uh it was that's that's sad man it, it really is because i really love i love hawaii and I understand, you know, Hawaii has um, its problems and especially what's going on now um, on Maui. Uh, but, uh, you know, as a people, um, man, I love you guys, man. My my Canucks, you know, my sisters out there. Uh, I love you guys, man. Real talk. I did some time with a, a bunch of Kanakas, man, that, you know, came from Hawaii. And... Uh, good motherfuckers man solid man and just scrappers man 
um, always got nothing but respect for the Hawaiians, um, uh, except for one Hawaiian that was in there with us. But we ain't gonna speak on him. <laughs> he said he wasn't he wasn't with us, so you know he was he ran with the Howlies. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, man. But other than that, man, the Hawaiian people always been solid, man. And man, I, I, I'm telling you, I'll go to bat with my brothers out there, man. I, I love them, man. You know, respect to the brothers out there and the sisters out there, man. But yeah, hopefully you guys can enlighten me on what's going on, uh, so that I can, you know, better understand when I do visit your beautiful island. I'm, I'm looking to go to maui um i'm not sure hopefully soon uh, i would like to go out there maybe just just meet some of the people out there and uh, you know kind of get your stories and just talk with you guys um if i don't get out there maybe we can just set up something online and y'all can just reach out to me and and, and we can talk about what's going on with maui um, and what we can do to help like if there's any type of programs or anything that we can get involved in that we can we can help you know what's going on out there help the people so yeah all my hawaiians yeah i love you guys get at me help us help the world understand what's going on and you know what we need to know when we visit your beautiful island and with that said y'all know what time it is stay the fuck out of trouble We're almost to the end of the meal. We're, we're almost to the, to the smoke stack. Uh. Oh, we made it. We sound, we're going to line on the road now pretty soon. But we don't, oh.